Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video is basically just a follow-up to my last week's video. Uh, I took the temperatures, I uh, didn't have a lot of time. I used the uh, HW Info 64 and the temps seemed a bit high. So we're going to run a couple more tests. I'm going to use uh, Ada 64 and see what it comes out to when it's under maximum load and see if I got an issue with the uh, temperatures. If I do, I'm going to replace it with a CPU cooler I've used before. It's the um, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo Black Edition with the LED to that as well, just for added color, whatever. And um, see if that'll make a difference, if I need to. Because I'm hoping I won't need to, but we'll find out. So let's have a look at the temperatures and see what they're getting at. Now this is the Ryzen 5 3600X processor from AMD. So I think it should be a little bit cooler than what it was. Um, let's have a look now that it's all inside the case and see that the fans are making a difference or not. And um, I really don't think it's going to make that much difference. So I'm pretty sure we're probably going to install the um, CPU cooler, the other one, and um, then we'll check the temperatures again and see what the improvement is. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is our system that we built right here last week. And this is the CPU core I will be using if I need to. If I don't, well then I have another project for it. So let's get it on the screen. Get 864, 864 Extreme actually. Uh, we'll get that running and let's see what happens. Okay, so I've started the uh, CPU uh, testing. So you can see right now 35, 39 is where it normally set. Shot up for a second to 77, not really sure why. Under 100% utilization of the CPU. So we're just going to let it run. So it, it shot up pretty quick. It's um, showing right now at 79. Um, so yeah, it heats up pretty quick. So we're just going to let this run probably about uh, 15 minutes or so. Usually I do 5 minutes, but I want to really give it a good test. After 15 minutes, we're going to see where it sets. And then... We're probably going to change it out, or I, it, you could probably try just switching your thermal paste, taking off the pre-applied, put on your own, see if that maybe makes a difference. I'm not going to probably do that. I'm just going to go for a new CPU cooler because I think it would really make a bigger difference. So we'll get back here in a minute, in a few minutes, and see what happens. So right now we're about uh, three minutes, uh, almost four minutes in. Uh, we're sitting around 84, 85, but we did have one spike that hit it up to 91. So that's a little concerning. So I am going to um, replace this uh, CPU uh, stock cooler. That's the AMD Wraith Spire that came with it. And I'm going to put on the uh, RGB Black Edition from Hyper212. And I'm not going to do that. I have a video where I've done that before. So I'll put a link in the description at the end of the video. So if you want to see how to do that. Um, but I will show it to you at least, just so you see what it looks like inside the system. And uh, then you can uh, see what the uh, new temps will be. So I'm still going to let this run. We'll come back in a few more minutes. Okay, so we're at uh, just about the 15 minute mark. Uh, we stayed about 85, 86, which is not bad when you're considering it's 100% utilization of the CPU. Uh, it's okay. You could use it. And not worry, but now see it just jumped to 94. Okay, so and now it's at 90, so that's not good. So we're going to switch out the CPU cooler and we'll come back and have a look. So before I put the um, new CPU cooler on, I wanted to show you after I took it off why I think it wasn't cooling properly. And I'm thinking that maybe it just takes time. I don't know. So when you look at here, all the thermal paste is still there. It hasn't really, um, hasn't done anything. It's like it's just still sitting there like a solid block. So how well that's working, I don't know. And there's almost no spread on here at all. You can only see just on the corner, just a little bit there. It's like it's, it's like it wasn't even touching it. So we're gonna put our own CPU cooler on. We're gonna put our own thermal paste. We're gonna do this better 
and then we're going to check our stock temperatures. So stay tuned. And of course, don't forget, anytime you're doing something like this, you have to clean off your existing thermal paste, which won't be hard on this. And uh, make sure you reapply new thermal paste for your CPU cooler. Don't forget that. That's important. Okay, so we've installed our CPU cooler. Uh, it's on the same breathing pattern as the one here. I'm not sure if that just automatically synced up or not. We're going to check it out after and I'll let you know. But the main thing right now I want to check is our temps. So we're going to run it again and we're going to see what happened. So just in case you're curious, uh, the ASRock Polychrome Sync controls the LED for the CPU cooler. And because the ASUS Strix uses a different software, that's controlled by the Aurora Sync software. So just to show you that right now, both are working together. But separately still. So you could change each color to be different. Anyway, back to our video. Purpose of our video. Okay, so running in idle, we can already see our temperatures are anywhere from 29 to 37. That is a... Whew, almost a 20 degree drop over the stock cooler from when it was idle before. Now we're going to run our test and see what happens here. So we're going to start 100% utilization on the CPU. It's up there now. And no big jump. We're going to watch. It's actually 36. We'll see how high it gets. We're going to run the full 15 minutes again and see what happens. It does seem to take a spike to 67 already. So well, that's a far cry from 85. So if we go to 67 or even 70, I'm happy. That's 50, that'll be 15 degrees less. All right, 73. So we're just going to let it go, and we'll come back later. So right now we're at the 7-minute uh, mark. Our low of 31, hit 39, and now it's staying anywhere around 79 to 81, back down to 75. It's fluctuating in there a bit. It's pretty much staying in the low 72s. So remember, we are 100% load. All right. And if it's going to stay in that area, that's not too bad. It's not hitting the 91 we were hitting before. That's for darn sure. So we'll let it run a little while longer. We'll check it one more time. Okay, so we're at the 14-minute mark, closing down in 15 minutes. You can see up here, oh, it's going down a lot. As uh, a couple of times it hits the high 80s, like I think it's 81, 82. Uh, but it mostly stays in the 70s for the most part. Now, it's at 100% max out your system. So, considering before we were hitting 91 and higher, I think I actually hit a 95, which is getting to the scary area of things. You're going to stay mostly in the 70s, uh, hit 81 every now and then. That's pretty darn good. When you stop the 100% load, you can see where it drops really fast. You just got a drastic downturn, and so your idle is going to be probably around, like right now it's at 30. Um, it'll stay somewhere in this area, 30, 32. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. That's pretty respectable. Um, nothing to worry about. All right, buddy. So keep in mind that with this video, uh, our temps are hitting way too high with the stock cooler. Um, it probably would have shut itself down if we were doing any long-term gaming. Not 100% sure, but it seemed like it. Now, with this getting a max of 81 on 100% load, we're going to be perfectly fine. Um, you got to remember, 100% load, you're maxing out everything. Like, it's really pushing it to its limits. So when you're playing a game, you're not going to push it that hard. Uh, maybe if you're like extreme overclocking or something like that. But with this CPU cooler, you could overclock without having to worry about anything. Stock cooler is a little bit uh, a little more tricky. So anyway, we've got our temperatures down by at least 14 degrees under 100% low. That's a big difference. So if you're interested, like I say, it's a 212 EVO black RGB edition. Um, I'll put a link at the end of the video for the full video on that if you uh, are interested in it. Anyway, if you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for future notifications to see upcoming videos. And thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Take care. Bye.